Visual Honey. Hi everyone, my name is Jewel, and today I'll be doing a review on the Night Angel Premium Cocoa Pee. And um, for today's video, I will show you a close up of the Cocoa Pee and how I use it in my enclosure, as well as the pros and cons of this substrate. Um, you can also check out my other videos that I've done on the Premium Cocoa Cheap, the um, Night Angel Forest Moss, and the Night Angel Cock, Soft Cock Granule in both sizes. Um, and next, I'll show you a close up. So let's take a closer look at the Premium Cocoa Peat from Night Angel. Um, first, on the picture, you can see this really adorable Syrian and a close up of the product itself and here you can see it says premium cocoa peat 100% natural cocoa granule it may preserve moisture and collect excreta it can be used as nutritional soil of planting it is a good selection to create natural cage tour encourages the natural digging and burrowing behaviors of rodent pets and it is 100% natural absorbs water and is recyclable so what i really like about the cocoa peat is that um, it has been prepared beforehand and it doesn't say that it is sterilized here so um, but it is ready to use from the packaging if you want to you can um, bake it again and you can also sun dry it or freeze it for um, extra sterilization though you have to be careful not to burn it because this one is the dry form of cocoa peat and I will show you the texture and size of the granules so you can see that it is quite fine with some fibers but the fibers are loosened up so that's great um, if you can see that when I press it doesn't hold its shape so it's really um, more like a dry substrate for them to burrow into and there are some people online who actually wet their um, cocoa peat so that the burrows can hold but for me I feel that that will probably invite um, like parasites and bacteria growth so I, I don't recommend you to do that. So for me, I use it more as a substrate for the hamster to burrow into. And if you decide that, you know, this is not what you want to use for your hamster, you can always use it for planting instead. So I like that there are a variety of uses for the cocoa peat here. I also like that um, the cocoa peat actually is very dry when it's packaged here. So it can actually absorb moisture as mentioned in the packaging and for my hamster i don't put it where she has her nest at because i don't want it to be difficult for me to clean um her feces and her urine because there's no way that you can tell um where the urine would be due to the color of the cocoa peat and I have tried digging for feces before and it wasn't too difficult but it's quite time consuming because you have to really look very closely to find out where the um, excreta is at so yeah that's one of the things that you have to look out for so I would say the pros of this substrate will be that it's easy to use it is definitely a safe texture and size for the hamster as well um, it also helps to create a more natural environment and I just really like that it is absorbent as well. So even if you're a hamster, you know, you, urines, then it will absorb. And so far when I'm using it, odor control hasn't been a problem. So that's great. And I like that it is naturally sourced and recyclable. Um, for the cons would be, like I mentioned before, it will be difficult for you to pick out the urine and excreta, if any. And... It does not hold burrows when it's dry, so it's not you. It's not suitable to be used as a main baiting substrate, but it's great for supplementary substrate. Um, my hamster really loves, really loves burrowing in the cocoa peat, and I've seen also from other people who have used cocoa peat that the hamster really enjoyed burrowing in it as well. I think it's 
it's just really fun and it's really like a simulation of the natural environment that they would have like in their sandy and soil environments habitats that um they would have lived in if they were wild hamsters so yeah i really like this substrate i would totally recommend um you to get this for your hamster and next i will show you how i use it in my enclosure for my hamster So that was the video on the night in Choco Pit and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave me a like and a subscribe. Goodbye!